Hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome back to another Animal Revolt episode and as you can see here we have some humans defending a castle and that's because I found some more workshop creations including Kong 2021 with an axe. So let's spawn him in and check it out. This guy here is going to destroy these humans little castle. Check out that axe. That thing is insane. It has spikes everywhere. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Um... All right, Kong, you're a little slow, but don't worry. They do have bows and you just have a club hammer or an ax or whatever you want to call that thing. Oh my gosh, he just got hit in the face with a ton of arrows. But don't worry, he's armored. I don't know if this is how it goes in the movies, but um, we'll, we'll see how this fares for the humans. Kong, just destroy that wall. You can get those humans. I don't know why they're shooting you in the first place. Is he trying to climb? <gasps> oh, He's punching the walls and everything. He's gonna break that wall and they're gonna fall right below. Okay, there's some people already getting squished. There we go. That human just got stabbed by his ax. Oh, he's right on it. Okay, this whole castle is going to tumble pretty soon. As long as they don't kill Kong before he does it, it it's all good. As you guys can tell, I am uh, rooting for King Kong and that's because this guy hasn't done anything wrong. They just started shooting him. He just wanted friends. Okay, another human just got punched right in the stomach. And here they go. There's a bunch more archers just falling. Look at that. There's a bunch of supports right in the middle too. If he destroys those, all these humans are just gonna fall. He's kind of just moonwalking right into the castle though. Okay, Kong, just do a big jump or something and get up there. Oh, okay, he got one with that. He got a couple with that. Oh, there we go. He's in. He's destroying the whole walls. Oh my gosh. Kong is insane. There's only a few more humans in there. I have a feeling he's about to die because that is a lot of arrows. He looks like a porcupine. He's do- Oh, okay. There goes part of the floor. I think there might be a human stuck in the rubble. Yeah, there's a couple humans stuck in there. That's what he's doing. He's trying to get to them. Whoa! He just punched that guy. That guy was trying to like jump on him or something and he just punched him out of the air. Okay, there goes the castle. The castle's finally falling. And he's gonna get that human right in the middle. Okay, I don't know if that human died, but he's back there somewhere. Is he gonna get up? Oh, there's a couple back there. All right, I think there's just too much rubble for Kong to get through this. I'm gonna give the victory to him because he did just obliterate this whole castle and probably like a good 12 to 15 archers. Look at him, he's just sad. He's just mad that no one wants to be his friend. So there was a new creature added recently and it is this lava golem. Check this guy out. He looks super awesome and probably really strong. I'm gonna spawn maybe four of these guys right here. And on team one, we're gonna spawn in some ancient human. I think those are Roman soldiers. So we're gonna spawn these guys here like this. How many of these guys should we have? All right, we're gonna make like a shield wall here. And then behind them, we're gonna have Spartans because you know, Spartans are really strong. And maybe a couple of horsemen, boom. All right, three, two, one, bam. Who's gonna win? Let me know down below in the comments. I honestly think it's gonna be this golem, guys. Whoa! Did they, they just crushed all those horses. And wait, what? They blow up? Are you serious? And they flame throw. Oh, wait, did that guy just throw a spear in there? I think he did. And I think that's all the humans. Wow. Okay, these golems are super strong. So we have a castle here. I'm going to spawn a bunch of these knights on guard. I don't know if guard or anything like that actually does anything because they seem to always rush into combat and die anyways. But there we go. We got some knights in the center. We're going to need some archer guys up on the walls, of course, to take down some of these golems. Maybe a guy up at the very top of this tower. He's probably going to fall and die, knowing him. We're going to have some Spartan warriors out front to defend the castle. And then some Roman soldiers. That guy already fell before the battle started, but don't worry about it. <laughs> and on team two, we're going to put down maybe three because there's a lot more than last time. Boom. Okay. Here we go. By the way, if you would like to see more Animal Revolt on the channel, make sure to smack that like button for rolling golems. <laughs> Okay, I don't think three stands a chance against all these archers and these knights. These knights are pretty strong unless uh, they roll into them and blow up. Okay, we just got one Roman soldier. He's dead. And now the archers. Oh, oh, this castle might be perfectly defended. He rolled, he blew up, and the humans have won. But that was just the start of the battle. These skeleton warriors have risen from the dead and are going to attack the castle as well. Here we go. They're coming up from the backside. I think these guys are probably really weak because they're just bones. 
just, just bones and swords, pretty much. Okay, there we go. Some archers are shooting them at the back here. We got the golems blowing up over here at the front. But this time, the archers are distracted with the skeletons who are literally going around to get to the archers. That's awesome. And they have infiltrated the castle. What are they doing? Their swords are just flailing everywhere. Oh, okay. These skeletons kind of are weak. But that's understandable. Like I said, they are just bones. And here they go. They are besieging the castle. But I think the humans might actually win again. Oh, wait. Maybe not. There's a couple more golems who are going to do some roll attacks on the walls here. <laughs> okay. The skeletons are pretty much dead. And the golems are busting through. If this guy could get right there and blow up too, that's perfect. He could get the rest. Oh, I think he failed. Dude, just get right there. Just go. Okay, well, he got one of them. All right, so we're going to spawn in a couple of these hounds. These guys look scary. Just two more because we were almost victorious. Why do I always side with the bad creatures? We were almost victorious with taking over this castle. These guys are actually the bad ones. They took all these monsters. Cheese. That's right. Okay, here we go. We got some hounds, which are pretty slow. But what are their special abilities? I guess we'll see here. They breathe fire as well. What the heck? And they're kind of really scary. They have destroyed the knights and the skeletons are coming around the corner. Did that one just get picked up and thrown? I think he did. The skeletons are back inside the castle. Same with the hounds and the golems too. They're getting in. Uh, I think they're gonna... Whoa! That golem just killed that skeleton. Okay, skeletons are in and destroying these archers. One of the hounds actually died. Oh man. Okay, these skeletons have done quite a bit more damage than last time. Why is that archer running towards that hound? He just got blown to pieces by his fiery breath. Just blow up the walls, guys. Wait, are these indestructible? And this is the last skeleton right here. Oh, man. These humans are really strong. They really want to just defend this castle. And they did it. But you know what? The monsters have recru recruited Godzilla. That's right. Um, I should move him over. Godzilla. I think this one has a machine gun on him. <laughs> there we go. Take him out. He's fully armored and going to destroy this castle. Uh, the timeline doesn't make much sense, but don't worry about it. We got archers, we got knights, we got machine guns on dinosaurs. What? <laughs> they, they finally took over this castle. There's just two more humans. Uh, if Godzilla can turn around and just shoot. Oh, never mind. There we go. The hound just blew them off with, with his fiery breath. All right, fast forward like 600 something years into the future. We have a bunch of soldiers here ordered to attack a giant monster. Um, there's an ancient church here with bones and monster stuff, but that's not why they're here. They're here because they added some new stuff for the monsters. Uh, we can add like punchers, sword hands and stuff to creatures. So we're going to make our own giant creature here. We're going to make our own ver version of King Kong. So we got Goro here. I used him before in my previous episodes as the actual King Kong. He was really strong. We're going to give Goro or King Kong here, Zombie Kong, some armor here. We're going to give him some shields and the eyeballs because you want your nose and your eyes to be protected. A big dome protection. <laughs> It looks kind of dumb. And of course, some chest protection. That looks cool. But we're going to give him giant spear hands. Are these actual gorilla hands? I think they might be. Boom. Whoa. Okay. That is cool and also really scary. Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. And of course, we need some giant spikes on him. Yeah, look at that. So he's a four-armed monster, two-legged, spiked armored creature here we go three two one commandos go i think they're gonna obliterate him because i totally unpredicted how many of these soldiers there actually were but we're gonna see if he actually uses his spear hands oh he totally is he's stabbing him he's picking him up they killed him <laughs> i think we need more weapons on him okay we're gonna put some stabby knives on his side here stabby hands so he has six arms now we're gonna need to give him some more armor though that wasn't quite enough and there we go. He's now armored up. Let's see if he can win now with four arms. Actually, I think it's six arms and two legs and spikes and armor. Are they ricocheting? I think they kind of are. Here he goes. Stabby, stabby. And they use gas on him and they killed him. Are you serious? Okay, we might need some skeletons. We might need some skeletons to distract the humans. They do have guns after all, and that is a lot of humans. So we got that many skeletons versus that many humans and also a zombie King Kong. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's working, uh, kind of. 
Some of them should be able to take out the humans. Yeah, there we go. Actually, they might kill them all. But we should be good. He should get right back up. Actually, I can't see anything. There we go. He's back. Uh, and there's a lot of humans. Stab. Can he do some damage? He's punching. He's stabbing. Oh my gosh. This is working pretty good. Come on, just poke him. Just poke him. You got the back swords too. Yeah, there we go. And can he get this human here? Boom! Slapped him right on top of the dome! Got him! Wow! Oh wait, there's one more human. He doesn't stand a chance. He karate chopped him right in the throat! <laughs> so for my last battle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate the Kong versus Godzilla battle. Of course, we're going to have Goro the Giant as King Kong. Boom. And now we need our Godzilla. I'm gonna use a big carnivore dinosaur. I think Godzilla's probably going to be a T-Rex. Yeah, that kind of looks like him. We need some big old spikes on Godzilla here. Uh, this doesn't really look like Godzilla, but you know what? It's fine. This looks more like Zilla, almost. And there we go. We have Godzilla fully spiked up. And King Kong, there he is. We're, we're starting this 3, 2, 1, go! Who's gonna win? Probably Godzilla, because he has all these spikes all over him. And he grabbed him by the head. Godzilla is just gnawing on him. But look at this. King Kong's punching him right in the face. Who's going to win this? Oh, my gosh. He's just grabbing him and slamming him. This is awesome. Uh, he's down. He's getting punched. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, just do an uppercut now. Just a big uppercut. You can win this, King Kong. You can win. Oh, he threw him. He, he, ki he killed Godzilla. What? That is amazing. Godzilla went to the gym. And got some giant muscles to punch back King Kong. <laughs> that looks stupid. All right, here we go. Now I think uh, Godzilla is probably going to win because he can punch back. He can fight now <laughs> instead of bite. Here we go. Um, he's kind of punching with his little stubby muscle arms. I don't think it's doing much. King Kong's still punching him in the face. Oh, there we go. Big old tail whip. Wait, he won. Are you serious? You know what? We're adding a bunch of TNT to King Kong. I don't know why. You got this, King Kong. You can win. Save humanity. Wait, what? He, he didn't save humanity. I don't think it was a big enough explosion. <laughs> okay, missile launchers. That should do it, right? Here we go. Just missile launch him. Uh, I think... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. That should give him a little advantage. Um, yeah, they're still punching each other in the face with a little bit of rockets flying everywhere. It might actually damage King Kong himself. I think the spikes are what are damaging King Kong so much. He's down. He's down. King Kong can do this. And the final blow goes to... Godzilla. We're gonna throw some ballistas on him now. <laughs> there we go. Yep. And rockets. If he doesn't win now, I think our champion's Godzilla. And there we go. Godzilla wins. If you enjoyed, smack that like button. And thanks for watching and subscribing. Remember, stay sweet.